Welcome back to another episode of Real South Hunting. This week we got one that is sure to get your blood pumping. What's happening, baby? <laughs> I'm getting it all ready. Getting it ready, son. Getting us all sharpened up. Ready? I don't know. I think I am. Get after a gator. I'm ready to run the camera. We're ready to rock and roll. Put some gators in the boat. I brought the big guns for this one. <laughs> We're going to get that 13-6 in the boat. Doing some last minute uh, calibration on our equipment here. Getting the lights charged up, batteries in the lights, and tying on hooks. So we're about ready to rock and roll. I got my horror hat on. Oh, if I had that a few months ago. Yeah. My head is going to be safe. Let's roll. Let's roll. What do you think, bro? Man, we're just to get on the water and go find some gators. That's all I know. Plug in. Plug in, baby. Sweet. All I'm waiting on is my buddy Lafette to get there. I'm gonna get over in the boat with him. I'll be running the camera, back away from all the biting gators and all that, and that's when it gets fun for me. That's Maybe awesome. Something. Got the small one out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Now we can go trophy hunt. We back to riding, cruising, looking. We spot a good sized gator. So we start blind casting, and uh, all of a sudden, got him. Gator on. Got him. Just hold on for a second. Just hold what you got. Just hold what you got. What you got, bro? Oh, Gator. Got him. Got him. Oh, what? So what we've done right here is we've, we've caught this Gator, and I had a good time. We're fixing to uh, catch and release. I mean, so we just take the take off, tape off. So make sure you take the tape off, and then whenever you get ready to put him back in the water, you just take your breath, swim, and there you go, catch and release. Gator put up a good fight, but we know there's big ones out here. Let's see them. There you go. Heck yeah, Heck yeah. baby. Hook it up, Heck dude. Hook it up. Yeah. Hook it up. Come on, boys. You gotta get him. Hey, go, Mom. Go, Mom. He's gonna run out of line. That old brook, son. He's tearing them down, baby. Baby, we got him. Bam, baby. Girl, he's pulling up. He's pulling up. 
Oh yeah, he come back up. Well, I'm fighting him for a while, doing all I can, trying to get the gator up, and all of a sudden, my whole entire reel breaks off of my rod. So I'm sitting there holding a rod and a reel, and it's flopping all around, and I'm trying to get control of it. Oh, that uh, reel's in the water, all right? Somebody got to hold this reel and reel. Look, if, if, if he goes. I'm going to try to drive the boat. You help them. I'm just curious about this. I'm holding the rod and the reel, trying to let the drag out as the gator's moving. Sometimes things get crazy when you're out here on the brook. It's crazy right now. I don't think he's moving, it's just a boat. You got another hook in it, baby? Gator that's 10 foot or better. Well, this one fit the bill. When we got him landed, 10 foot three. And let me tell you, our buddy Malcolm Rousey was pumped up and excited. Right here? Yeah. Just like that, baby. He in the boat, baby. That's it. Yes, sir. Dude, that was a fight right there. <laughs> that was a fight. Broke my reel. Broke your reel, son. That was a sure enough group effort there to get that sucker in. Yes, sir. Heck Malcolm. yeah, that was a good job. Is that, that what was, you was after? Man, that's what we was after right there. What a dinosaur. Let me get my real south hat right here. Hey, folks. Look right here. Get your real south hunting hat at realsouthhunting.com. Tagged up. That dude will have some y'all meat on him. All right, here we go, y'all. Me and Malcolm Brooke headed down to meet up with our buddy Ronnie Adams from Trump People to do a gator hunt. Uh, we'll give a, a gator hunt away this year. Uh, partnered up with Extra Table, done a drawing, and got a lucky winner that's going to meet us down here in front of Ronnie's place. We are ready for a action. Weekend, to say the least. Man, I can't wait. This is gonna be awesome. Ronnie's out setting some lines right now. We'll probably set a few lines with him, but uh, we can't wait to get down here and catch gators. What you say, Malcolm? Grab and tail.
I don't know how many of y'all know Ronnie Adams from Funk People, but let me promise y'all, that dude is a ton of fun. But now when he goes to gator hunting, it's all business. It wasn't but just a little while that we had the first nine footer in the boat. Get the gun, boy! Get the gun, baby! This is a good one, too, baby. Further back there, further back, further back there. Right at, right, right at the soft spot. That ain't not compared to what y'all about to see. You want to go right behind the squad. Get to these gators in Louisiana. All right, brother, click, click. Nervousness is going, but listen to Mr. Ronnie. When I tell you what's on the next line, it's a dinosaur. It's going to be big as his boat, but he's probably 70 years old. A gator of a lifetime for you, my baby. You ready, Knox? Let's do it, my boy. <laughs> Hopefully they still laugh. Yeah. It just went under. Yeah. You know, I got a tie the line on at the end, which it is. And then you take it, snug it in real tight. A simple cane pole. And if you can watch the rope here, I come out where I get him out the water a little bit, and then I just shove. Shove, look at it going in. Shove. Let me clean up this bait. Even though it stinks, I want it looking nice and pretty for the gators, you know? So I'll take my extra line that I got and then I'll wrap it around one of them things so it ain't in the way. So yeah, I just got the clothes pin just like that, my baby. And I want to put him about six inches over the water. Every alligator fisherman's different. Some of them put two feet over the water. Some of them put it on the water. But you can't put it in the water because that alligator's got to smell it and he's got to see it. And that's why you hang it so he goes and grabs it and he knows something's there. And that's it. Make sure you put your flag in. On to the next one. Watch me whip, whip, watch me dig, dig. Oh yeah, oh yeah, something in the water. Here we go, baby. This is going to be a good one, Bob. Ooh, yeah. Oh, he's all tail wrapped, man. You might want to get the gun. Come on, baby. This is you. Right, here we go. Go away from you. Alright, 
Boy, good night. Hello, boy. Huh? Ooh, yeah, boy. You just got you a ten foot of maybe ten, ten and a half. There it is. Clickety clack. Good job, boy. You got you a big one too, right along with Dan. Hey, two. That's me two big mounts now. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, my baby. Straight up. Just ease it to him real slow when he's like that, so you don't. There you go, my baby. Straight down. Atta boy, all oh. by yourself, dude. Water got you. <laughs> Water got you. Give me that, boy. Oh. Yeah. Woo, boy, we got a pole shaker. We got a pole shaker, baby. That's a good one, too, Papa. Ooh, boy, that's going to be a good one. Boy, this is a start, dude. It's a big game. It's a big game. Yeah, he's bro. out here. There he is. Yeah, baby. This is a big... Yeah, baby, boy. This is a big one, boy. Big gator. Boy McCoy here, boy. What? Yeah. Lord, Dad. Get ready, Pops. Is this a 10, 11 footer here? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, boy, boy. Watch out. Out in this morning. Grab that other leg, John. The front leg, not the front. Roll it. There you go, my man. Now we're used to hunting Mississippi, and the most gators that you ever bring in a boat would be two, a small and a one that's over seven foot. Dude, that might be a 12 footer. He's bigger than the first one, I think. All I can say is. Your taxidermy bill? <laughs> it just keeps getting bigger. Well, we have loaded this boat down with cash. And I'm talking about some big ones. But now, we ain't never, we ain't never got a load of gators like this, y'all. Believe it or not, this is a small load for us. Really? Oh, yeah. Y'all usually get three over 10. Compared to what we caught on the show, yeah. I can't give out no secrets, but we caught a lot bigger and a lot more on that show. But guys, we gotta keep the small ones because the law states in the state of Louisiana that that gator's this big off his 20 foot. If he gets a hook in his mouth, you gotta shoot him and put a tag in him. Day's wrapped up, but what a good day today, my baby, huh? Hey, and guys, I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. The next time y'all gonna see me with real salt, we're gonna be up there in Kansas chasing Dorothy, my baby. Welcome home, Dorothy, because here we come, baby. The next time they do a raffle, you need to buy a ticket. Man, this is going to last. You watch it on TV and just kind of want to do it, and, but until you get out here and experience it, man, it's, it's really, really cool. So, thank you. You bet, John. Baby. Thank you, my baby. Hey, guys, I'm going to tell y'all what, though. I'm glad John and Malcolm was come on board the boat today because these big boys were hard to put in. Hey, Oh, it's just a beautiful day. I'm so happy to be out with y'all. Yeah, just love it. Yeah, she almost didn't come. Yesterday, she, yeah, it was a flip of the coin. She's like, ah, oh, it's a guy's thing. Why don't y'all go do it? I had to talk her into it. Oh, yeah, but 
Look, let me tell y'all, 99.9% of the time, if I'm just on a chart or something, and be raised at school or something, that's my decade. She handles all of it. Right. Yeah. yeah, and 99% of the time, our dates are thanks just like this. In the date That's and right. Truly, date. truly. Yeah, they're not your traditional date. Swap like, date. Yeah, they're, Hell yeah. It's all about being outside, but that's what I love, so it's perfect. Stubbs, five years ago, was our first date, and our first date was she come on a chorter pig hunt with me. An airboat hog hunt. My that's goodness, it. that's a heck of a yeah. first date. It was. I've been on the hog hunt. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was my first. Um, that was my first airboat hog hunt, and uh, yeah, obviously I was in love. All right, come on, lift up. We had a great time gator hunting. We got a couple of fellas we got to really, really give a big shout out to, and that's our buddy Ronnie Adams from Swamp People and Malcolm Rousey. I mean, that son of a gun. He gets as excited as a person can be. Now, he lives the gator hunting. Yeah, Malcolm, <laughs> we, we the film crew. We the one that's got to make it come around, you see. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Whoa, whoa. Keep them coming. We appreciate that. Heck yeah. They almost cut you out yesterday, John. Oh, really? Yeah, when I told them this gator was on the line, <laughs> Brooke said, <laughs> Brooke said, you want, though, can we go run it? Listen, we might better go ahead and get that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my baby. That's, that's awesome, brother.